So this is my Gent of Leicester 240 volt style Gent manual coil point. Uh, this is my open one and this is default setting with all of it. You've got your closed circuit system here and then your open circuit here. And basically what that does is you've got that button there which will be held in by the glass. And then when you break the glass, the button will go out and it will cause an alarm. And when you open it, you've got this push to test button here. And you press that. And if we look at the circuitry, you press the push to test. And it will complete the circuit. Because obviously when that button when that button's pressed in, it's not making any contact. And then when the lid's closed, I'll just take the pin out. So when the lid's closed, the push to test button is held in place and that is also up like that. And then when you break the glass, that goes down to create the circuit. But then if it's open, the push to test bit's broken, so it's still not making the circuit. And then you'd hit the test button, which would complete the circuit. If I just disable the sound as a sec. Um, with this, this is a uh, set. It doesn't have the push to test feature on it because I took that bit out and then I was going to put it back in but I lost it. So that doesn't have a uh, push to test on it. it. It should be on this shelf somewhere with all my alarms and stuff. glass for its invisible bubble wrap because I've only got two pieces for the two core points. So this is just set up so that you press the button and it'll go into alarm as you can see. So yeah and then it should have a black plate over it there but I took it off and I lost that as well. So you know, that's, that's that really. And then it, it doesn't fit on a standard back box, it uses a weird sort of screw arrangement to do that. I don't know why. And then, there we go. This is my screwdriver that fits these Allen keys so I can open them up. So if I just open up the core point, as you can see. The push to test button's actually broken on this because it doesn't have the metal circuitry behind it that makes it work. Because I took it out by accident. I didn't mean to take it out. I just took it out and then lost it. <laughs> but anyway, it works fine for my system. And the way it works is in there I've created a little circuit with a 470 ohm resistor on. So it will trigger the panel because otherwise, otherwise it just won't do it. Oops, sound is activated then. That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> oh yeah, so that's it.